Hello awesome people, how are we going today? Uh, here we are coming to you live from the Good Co Training Studio with this week's mental toughness tip. Uh, and our mental toughness tip this week is titled The Naysayers and the Unbelievers. Um, and this is what I want to say about that. In life, we are always going to have naysayers and unbelievers. We're always going to have people who are going to tell you what you're doing is the wrong thing to be doing or who are not going to believe in what you're doing and then they're going to try and put their idea of what they think you should be doing on you. Um, and a lot of the work that I do with with one-on-one -on -one coaching and mental training is trying to help people to stop these words that they make up in their own head that are negative towards their goal. Uh, but one of the things that we do need to acknowledge and we need to talk about is the fact that there are actual real physical people in our lives who do do these things. They say these things, these actual words come out of their mouth and they come at you uh, and things like, you know, what you're doing is wrong or you're an idiot or, or whatever. Okay, so they say things that are negative and that they're contradictory to your goal and what it is that you're doing in your plan. And quite often they say these things without even taking the time to understand your goal, your process, what you're doing, that kind of stuff. Um, and when, particularly when it's loved ones, it's really hard because we take on board the information that we get from people. We, we like to be feel listened to, we like to know that the people around us care for us and we like to think that the people around us actually have our best interests at heart. So, you know, they're going to be saying things that are meaningful and that kind of stuff. But quite often what they're saying is just coming from their own fear base, from their own process base and from their own way of doing things. And unfortunately, also quite often people think that you should do what they think that they should do instead of doing what you should be doing sometimes. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> that was a very long way of saying when it comes to the voices in your head uh, that are negative and contradictory towards helping you get towards your goal and the voices in reality that are negative and contradictory in helping you to get towards your goal, what's really important is that we try not to let the actual real voices of the people around you become the voices in your head, okay? So as I said before, when I do this one-on work with clients who come in here, we sit down and we try and retrain our brain to think positively. We try and retrain everybody to go, okay, these are the negative thoughts that I'm having that are not helping me get me towards my goal. We take them, we put new thoughts in, and we go through an entire process to help us fix that negative cycle in our brains. But when you are actually getting physical real words from other people coming towards you, often what we do is take those words on and then they become a new negative cycle of thought process in your brain. More negative thoughts. And it's really important that we don't let these words become our thought processes. Uh, how do we do that? <laughs> We consciously make decisions to not take those thoughts on. And this is a process that can take time. Of course, if you're not successful in it, if it's not an easy thing for you to do, I'm always going to say, get a coach to help you work through this. Get in contact with me. We can do a couple of sessions and help you take it on board. Um, you know, but it's, it's really important. Like I, you know, I had, a, I personally had a situation recently. I had somebody who I care about, who is a good friend, come in and we're just talking and then all of a sudden this person starts talking about their opinion on something that has happened that I've been doing and for all intents and purposes their opinion is in complete contradiction to mine and I walk away from this situation going oh my god I've just done everything wrong and then that, that person's words starts to get repeated over and over in my head and it took me a while to just stand and go no hold on a minute this is actually not how I want to think about this situation. These are not my thoughts. These are this other person's thoughts. They're not mine and I don't want them and I don't want to think about it in this particular way. It is not beneficial and it doesn't help me get towards my goal because the really big thing is their goal and my goal are actually two different things despite the fact that they're trying to tell me that their goal, it's the same thing. It's actually two very different things. So I have to sit down and consciously decide 
this is not how I want to think about this situation. That person's thoughts are their thoughts. I am not going to take them on board. I am not going to turn them into my thoughts. What thoughts can I choose to help me think differently about this situation, think more positively about this situation, think in a way that's going to help me move towards my goal? Uh, so that's how we do it, okay? Uh, when it comes to naysayers and things like that and people in your life who are actually giving you negative stuff or things, words that just don't come towards or help you come towards your goal, you need to sit down, have conscious thought, understand, is what they are saying helping me get towards my goal? Is it not? Is it beneficial? Is it not? If the answer is no, put it aside. If you need help in learning how to put it aside, get in contact with a coach. Always willing to help. So that's this week's mental toughness tip. Naysayers. Oh, I've forgotten the title of it. Anyway, naysayers and something else there. Um, Go ahead, do it. If you need help, give me a call. Practice it, practice it, practice it, because that is what helps us move towards our goals in a much more fluid way. Uh, and then you have me asking you for help. One of the really cool things, guys, is that you do come in and you watch these and you like my stuff. If you can also help me out by sharing my videos, that would be awesome, because getting my stuff out there helps me grow my business, which is what we want to do. So, mental toughness tips for this week. Don't listen to the naysayers. And we will see you again next week. Bye for now.